Hello, this is Sarah, the Stitchin' Mommy and Smokey, <laughs> here with my weekly cross-stitching update. It's December 11th, 2023, and yeah, this week, like the past few weeks, has been relatively low on the cross-stitching front, but I still have stuff to show, and we can jump right in. So when I was um, editing last week, I noticed that this episode is episode 300. So I felt, well, I need to celebrate that somehow. So I had two new patterns that are, have been, I just posted one today and I posted another one last week that was a request from a customer. So these two patterns didn't get included in the cyber sale that happened at, after Thanksgiving. So I thought, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just do a quick little PDF only coupon code in my shop just for you guys. So since it's 300, the 300th episode, this will be a 30% off PDF patterns in my Etsy shop, Stitch and Mommy. And there's lots of temperature patterns in there, which is a good time of year to get those. There's um, photo patterns even from patterns, uh, photos that I've taken, one photo that Colette the Highway Stitcher has taken, and various verses and poems and things. So the first one that's new is Dog's Will and Testament. This is a, a altered alteration of the cat's Will and Testament that I've had up there for a little while. Someone requested a dog version, so I added some little puppies and changed the border because the balls of yarn didn't really go with dogs. <laughs> There's some bones and zigzags, and so that's the newest one, and the wording reflects dogs instead of cats. And then the other one is Smiling at the Future, which is the one that I made for my um, women's conference at my church for a giveaway. So, and the winner of that was very appreciative, so I'm very thankful. Uh, strength and dignity are her clothing, and she smiles at the future. Proverbs 31.25. So that one's up there now, too, as well as all the other PDF patterns that are up there. Um, so yeah, enjoy that. And that is good for this week, the week of the 300th episode. So it'll end, starts, it's, it's live now. So whenever I post this, it should be active. And then um, it goes through the end of the day next Monday on, I guess it's the 18th. I think. <laughs> yes, the end of the day on the 18th. So um, yeah, so that's exciting. I will, let's see, I'm going to share some stitchy kindness I received first, and then I have the Stitch Quarterly from the Fat Quarter Shop, but it's, it came Friday or Saturday, so there's might still be some of you that don't have it, so I'm going to wait and show that one at the end, so that there's, if you haven't received it yet, you can just stop watching, it'll be the very last thing I do, so. Um, I had been interacting with a Robin regarding um, a color conversion. And she offered to send me a pattern that she had already stitched and thought she wanted to pass along. So I'm like, sure. And then a few days later, I get a big package <laughs> from someone named Robin. And I'm like, that's a funny looking pattern. <laughs> that's in a box. And then um, I opened it up and realized it was a different Robin um, who had talked to me about a few goodies that she had found that wanted, she wanted to pass along. Um, and it had been maybe a month, so it was just totally out of my head. <laughs> so anyways, this is the week of Rob Robin. Spelled differently, but you know, when you first see it at a glance, you're like, wait. <laughs> so anyways, this is from the first Robin. Cute little shoes. I love that. I am, some of them, oh yeah, they even sparkle. I don't know if you can even see that. Oh, there's some. But yeah, I used to have, I mean, I do. I, I really like shoes. I think they're fun. So she sent me, let's see. Oh, I forgot to bring it. But she also sent um, some goodies for my daughter. A project bag, a floss box. It had some cross-stitching stickers on it. Um, a little needle case. It's so cute. So uh, that's in my daughter's room. She's already taken it. <laughs> she, she loves it and it's perfect. Um, she gave me some floss tags that are 
they have this really pretty punch shape on them. So th those are cute. And, and they're plain so I can write anything I want on them. This is the silks for you that she gave me, which are like all the prettiest colors in the world. <laughs> Very good choice. And then my daughter got a silk too that was pink, so that was really sweet. This says May 2018 Silk of the Month. So that's fun. And then the, um, she sent these, they're like two and a half inch strips, I think, of quilting fabrics, which are so pretty. They're perfect. She, I guess she had these and thought of me, and thought they'd be perfect. So they're, um, a Country Weekend is the name of the collection. And there's these pinks and greeny blues, all the florals, all the prettiness. And I love this one. It even says Choose Joy right here, which is really, really pretty. There's butterflies. She was right. <laughs> Those are up my alley. And then a couple pieces of Congress cloth, which is really great. Um, Because I've talked about wanting to do various specialty stitches or specialty stitch projects or um, even full coverages on Congress cloth because they don't, it's, it's more of a canvas, so it doesn't warp, which is really great. So I love that. Thank you. So that was a fun package to receive from Robin number one. <laughs> and then we have the other Robin. who sent a Mirabilia pattern my way, who has already stitched this and she said it's hanging in her entryway. And let's see, yeah, she sent a Mary Inglebright card, which is sweet. And it's Savannah's curtsy, which she was right. You don't see a lot of people stitching this one. Um, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. I love the word welcome here, how scrolly that is. And yeah, it's just, there's just something about that. Her dress has a lot of Ashley's Roses vibes to it with like the stripes on the edges. Um, it's not exactly the same, but it has that kind of that feel. Might have been made around the same time. This is MD36, so one of the earlier ones. I may do a color conversion on her if I ever get around to stitching her, but it's very fun. So thank you, Robin number two. <laughs> that was fun. And I'll share the Stitch Quarterly by the Fat Quarter Shop at the end. So there's no spoilers for that. Um, let's see. I guess we can start in on travel stitching. My temperature piece, Temperature Quaker is the one I'm doing this year. This is one of my designs. I'm working on the December little bits and pieces that go through the background here, because that's what we stitch for December. Thought that would be a nice way to do it since then you know for sure you have um, placement for all the little bits and bits and bobs. So here we go. This is 25 count vintage cloth in color prim, one over one, full cross. You can see all the little letters. I This one was 59 last week and then um I did these three that were like mid 70s I think and then came back over here and it kind of cooled down again this one I think was like 62 which is the same color as the 59 but it eh, I forget what these were but yeah like greens here in December and the March one didn't have any greens even February had some greens this year was crazy <laughs> March is not usually that cold so anyways, this is fun. So I will enjoy filling these in. Some of the motifs are a little bigger here in the December section, but the letters are all very small. They're roughly the size of some of these normal ones, um, little daily sections. So there's, you just have to start and stop each time because they're kind of spread out. So that's the only, sometimes with the other ones, if you're doing a week at a time, you can do several little sections if, if they have the same color. So you just can't do that. <laughs> That's all right. Um, and I still hope, I don't know if I can get to it this week or not. I'm hoping as soon as I can. I was, I'm still planning to do a little video highlighting 
alterations for each of my temperature designs for leap year since 2024 is a leap year so I haven't forgot about it <laughs> I just uh haven't had time yet so I am I did not work on frosted pumpkin again because I was just so busy I had to cancel my call with my sister but here is the new uh part that came out on Thursday this is castle homecoming club by the frosted pumpkin stitchery and I am woefully behind, but mentally I'm okay with it because I might, even though this stitch along ends in February, I'm mentally hoping to finish it by next December, like the end of the year next year. So this new part was this neighboring castle and little pond and the weeping willow tree, super cute. So I could do, I might even do this section before the jousting scene because it's on this side of the um, design, which is nice. So with the way I hold my fabric, I think it might be better to do that. So hopefully I can get to that again this week. Put in a little bit. Maybe I'll go ahead and show it since I haven't shown it in a while. So I don't know how far back I have to go to <laughs> get a before picture. So there's no change, but this is my starting point. Hopefully I'll get to work on this on Friday. Um, yeah, so I have the starting bit, this bottom row of dark grass, so I can, I think the castle is up here, so the new, the new little castle, so I could just hop up and, I might just fill in light green grass at this point to set the stage for either part, um, so I might just do that actually, build my way up to those, either of those parts in goes quickly especially on a phone call so all right then my last advent animal is not quite done but made good progress I worked on this in pickup lines but also here and there doing other things so this is where I'm at with him Alistair alligator this is an 18 count light blue Ada, two over one full cross. I ran out of the blue on my floss card, so I had to. I have since grabbed another piece out of my main uh, master set. So hopefully I'll get that finished up today, and then I can keep working on like the dark green of the alligator. I think is the next thing I want to do, and then there's some like brown spikes on his tail and stuff then I think that might be it and I can just backstitch it after that. So that'd be cool. This for sure will get finished this week. I'm most likely. Um, and then I sh I'm hoping to be able to start cats and hearts and I forgot to bring my pattern up. I'll put a picture here so to remind you what that looks like. It's by Kitty and Me Designs. I'm planning to do the set this coming year as my travel stitching. I'm not sure how long they're going to take. Um, I noticed somebody else had stitched the mandala size. Um, Kitty and Me has monthly cat silhouettes with these hearts. She also has mandalas, which are circles, and she has like quilt shaped uh, square ones that look like quilts. And they're all really, really cute, really, really pretty. But these ones were the ones that kind of called me the most. So that's the ones I chose. And then the mandala ones that I had seen someone else work on seemed like they had metallics and maybe even some beads and lots of things. And they were, the comment made was this is taking a lot longer than I expected, which I was like, oh no. <laughs> but then I went back and looked at mine and the heart ones do not have any metallics. They're all DMC, um, cross stitches, back stitching. And even the January one has like four colors. So it's not going to be too bad. Um, I'm planning to stitch all the cats in Bakington by Casa Colorworks, which will be like a, and I'm gonna, to look like Smokey <laughs> instead of the black. And then, cause she's a solid color cat for the most part. So it'd be fun to be able to just switch it out, but I don't want streaky kitty cats. So I'm gonna do, uh, it's uh, all gray thread, but it's like the tonal variegated thread. So I'm planning to loop start it and then stitch it you know, all one length, all like all the halves and then come back with the other one. So it'll, 
those colors will be mixed up a lot so it'll be more speckly looked hopefully than stripey that's my plan because i don't want stripey kitty cats so and i i'm hoping to do them on some 36 count antique white fabric by fabric flare it's um i'm hoping it'll be nice and um a nice fabric to work on that's it's not hand dyed so it shouldn't be should holes shouldn't be tight i should be able to see them nicely because it will be travel stitching so um planning to cut those up today or not today this week and get those started as soon as alistair alligator is finished um and then i also managed to work on my shine bright sampler this was actually worked on um during a couple phone calls with friends this week so instead of other things I pulled this out and I'm very happy with that because it I managed to get a good amount done so I'm working here in the December quadrant or not quadrant but portion uh this is with the fat quarter shop and you can find the original design in the Bonnie and Camille quilt bee book the floss conversion is an uh, RE floss conversion that Fat Quarter Shop put together. So if you look on their website in the shopping section, you just search for Shine Bright Sampler and click on the RE floss thread pack. One of the pictures has the list of colors. So if you want to do a conversion to um, DMC or other fancy floss or something, um, I think the list of the RE floss numbers are in there. So um, I'm using the RE floss. And I'm using 40 count Morganite linen by Fiber on a Whim. One over two. Is it spec? One over two on the 40 count. So this is where I got to. And I'm so excited. Got quite a bit done. Um, the dark red and the gray and all of that regular red are finished in this section. So now I get the fun part of putting in all the other little colors. So I'm currently have this on my needle. I think it's the same color as this one. And there's probably one or two in this motif as well of this color. And so I'll keep working my way down these like flying geese triangles. And if I, once I have this color, whatever color on my needle, I'll do it in here too. And then I think there's probably a few more over here that aren't here. So anyways, I'll just, that's how I'll do that. So hopefully I can continue to chip away at that um, if I have time in the afternoons, which I don't always do this <laughs> this time of year. So having those calls this week was really great. I did, I worked on it three times. So two, one of the times was just on my own. And then the other two times were on calls with friends. So that was great. Then my, I worked on letter S fairy. For my niece, I worked on this some on Tuesday and then finished my string out on Wednesday. I started working in on her wings. I'm doing a color conversion. Are you making noises, kitty? Yeah. She's sleeping. And I'm really happy with how this is looking, getting all the all the colors in. This is the called for Water Lily Linen by Witchelt in uh, two over two full cross. So now that we have, I think, one and a half lengths of thread in of the wings, I think it really makes this color make a lot of sense, a lot more sense than before when I was like, what are you doing there? <laughs> but I love how it shows like, you can still see the S, but you can tell it's behind the wings, which is fun. And once I finish color uh finish stitching the wings then i'll go over it with the veins will be in krynik so they'll be sparkly so that, that's always fun yeah so more of that probably tomorrow i'll pull this out again and try to get more done on the wings super fun once the wings are done i'll go ahead and backstitch them before working on the bottom half of the s so this won't take too long to finish probably not this calendar year which i was kind of hoping i would but it'll be first on my short list of things to finish next year which I will hopefully also get a plans video out before the end of the year <laughs> I have I know what my plans are I just need to have time to play and share so let's see 
Wednesday, I worked on Visit Endor for my family piece. This is by Country Magic Stitch. And I finally got the sky finished. And I started in a little bit on some of the green of the hillside. So that's really exciting. Only 390 stitches and so almost 400, not a thousand or anything, but I am happy with that. So here is this, it's 28 count Dove Gray Monaco, two over one, half stitches. And all that, all that sky is finished finally. So now I'm working on, I put in one length of thread here in the hillside. So I'll continue to pick symbols, mostly from the top down. I kind of felt like, I think I might've did one and a half lengths of this actually, because I had two couple short lengths. Um, because I just wanted to keep going on that color, even though technically, when when I'm doing my typewriter method of choosing symbols, I'll choose, I'll choose a symbol that's the highest, which I think was up here, and then do one length, and then whatever pick whatever's next highest, and then do that color. But sometimes, especially on something that's simple, it's like I have the color out. I'm just gonna keep going. There's lots of it here in this section. Let's just keep going. So that's what I did. So next time I might pull down some of these trees some more. Um, next month and and then hillside who knows I'll have two days on it in January that's the plan so to bump all these family pieces up to two days next year so that was the last time this will come out in 2023 um and then the rest of the week until Sunday I worked on heirloom nativity sampler by the Victoria sampler and as as life has presented itself, I do, I am convinced I won't do the hard anger this year. I'll just continue to focus in on this scene, hoping I can finish the scene um, this, this week. Bonus gravy would be the back stitching and this little specialty stitch band right here. But even, even like I'm not holding my, I'm not expecting to get to these two. I can put those two with the hard anger next year. Um, I want at least this little scene done. This this week, I managed to get all the white finished. At one point, I was like, you know what? I just want to finish this white. And I remember doing that on the other scenes too. There's so much white that kind of outlines everything because of the snow. I wanted to get it all done so then I could just go fill in all the little things and not have to count quite as much later. So that's what I did. So here is this one all together. And I'll show you just this section. This is 32 count gray um, linen by MCG Textiles. Two over two, full cross for all the stitching. I finished the brown, so the little squirrel and all the little legs of the animals and the manger legs, all that might be new. And then all the white, I finished the white. So this week, I'm hoping to finish all the colors. So we've got Mary and Joseph's clothes, and all the little animals. And then there's like some um, pine needles on this tree as well, which you can see the similar similar type of tree right here. So it'll be that kind of tree. And this one, we'll have one of those right here. So yeah, that'll be fun. Actually, this is a pine tree. This is a fir tree. I'm from Oregon. There is a difference. <laughs> okay, so that'll be fun. I'll give that another four days this week, I think. So Today's Monday, I'm gonna do my family piece for this week, then my letter fairy, then it'll be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, four days on heirloom nativity. So we'll see. Hopefully I can make it a priority for in my free time. Hopefully I have free time. <laughs> and I can get that scene done. That'll be, that'll be great. And then that will go on my list to finish um, the Hardanger next year. Then I did get it, pull out my Celtic Ladies collage. This is a mashup I've made of all the lavender and lace Celtic Ladies. Um, I only had like a half hour to work on this, um, maybe a little more. So not a ton done, but I did get it out, which is better than last week when it didn't get pulled out at all. So I finished the face uh, back stitching on autumn, but then I came up here and started in on winter, which is nice. So I'm hoping to make some better progress on this throughout the month of December, all the Sundays we have left, seasonal Sundays. 
to um here is this all together and here's my before and after for autumn you can see her features coming together which is really pretty there's a little bit of um her garland that got stitched as well because it was the same color as her eye this is 32 count lamb's wool linen by witchelt two over two full cross and then up here i did a i stitched this strip of every other stitch this border and a little bit of her hair so i did change most of this is as called for according to the chart except for uh summer and winters coloring and hair and face so she's got medium skin tone and dark hair she has darker skin tone and like black hair for the most part it's got really dark brown highlights but um I wanted it to be different and I thought she would look the best with the darker coloring because everything in her block is really light so nice nice contrast so I'm excited to get her hair and skin in to make sure the color conversion works because I think I had to play a little bit with the summer one to make make sure when I started it on, on it I was like mm, I don't know if I like that so I, I played a little bit so I'm hoping winters just kind of comes together and I don't have to do any changes because that'll just slow down progress <laughs> hopefully it looks great the first time um okay so that's everything I worked on going forward this next week will look very similar um except for my family piece so I'm gonna pull out my husband's piece this week probably today he often has um plays games with his brother and his brother and my son and my niece they kind of all play a game together um online so Monday is almost always when they do that. So I think it'll be good to get this out tonight. So hopefully I'll get a little bit more time on it than I got last week, last month, or the month before that. <laughs> this is kind of sad uh, how, how much how little lack of progress I've had on this. But this will again get two days every week next month as next year. Two days every month next year. So hopefully it'll continue to progress. So this is 40 count vertical one over one half cross very tiny so a couple months ago i was working here on the, in the white and i still have white on my needle in this like paper wrapping thing it's really hard to do because it's white on white 40 count over one um so <clears throat> that was part of why it was hard to do before and then last month i just was i don't know i had other stuff going on and it wasn't ever fun to pick up because it was white on white. So I'm hoping to finish my thread today and then do something in color. <laughs> maybe I'll work on Lisa's hair or something. Just Or maybe start Bart. So something. Something. Something fun that you guys can see. Because white on white, you guys can't see if I've done it or not. So it's no fun. So hopefully I can get a little bit done on that today. Work on the Letter Fairy tomorrow. Spend four days on heirloom nativity sampler and one day on the Celtic ladies. Next Monday, I will not be coming back. I'll probably come back on Tuesday. I will be, we'll be celebrating one of our Christmases with my family next Monday. So no video. Um, I think, <clears throat> and it's still, still December. No, it's, yeah, it's obviously still December. It's the 18th. I'm trying to think what I would do. I'll definitely work on, I'll bring my cats and hearts with me in the car. May or may not get any time. I probably won't get any time to stitch while I'm there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I will probably work on the letter fairy on Monday next week if I get any time at all uh, to work on something at home because we're, it's just a one day thing. So I may, we may be home in time to do a little stitching that night um so I'll probably just pull out my letter fairy again so that'll be good <laughs> okay now for the stitch quarterly from the fat quarter shop this was delivered recently so if you have not yet received yours and want to get a surprise you should you can turn off now I won't be doing anything else after this so um I thought it was really cute I might actually do this one so this is the project bag pink with snowflakes and these teal trees. Super cute. 
And then they have all the goodies in here. This was at first, I'm like, ooh, that's cute. It's got a little, little fox called Festive Blizzard. Then all the goodies. Oh, it's even cuter. So I'll, I'll show the pattern last because it kind of, you can kind of get some ideas. So it's got, these are the colors, the thread colors and the needle. It has a couple of color works and the DMC rounds it out. It's got minty green opalescent Ada. You can see from the little penguin, there's another clue of how cute this is going to be. It's hard to see the opalescent. It's Ada. Um, the opalescent is like, you can kind of see it there. It's like little um, green sparkles. Super fun. And it comes with a adorable penguin needle minder. <laughs> a star detailer, which is good for um, thread chicken. <laughs> tying, a, tying up strings that are really small. I think if there's anything more you can do with this, let me know. But that's really fun. And then this is the pattern. It's called Winter Time. And so cute. It's got a little stack of a polar bear, a fox, and a, a wolf, I mean, and a penguin. Isn't that cute? So that's adorable. And I believe the tree colors are the classic color works. So those are ones that will have some variegation in them. Super cute. I actually really like that one. So you might see that at some point. <laughs> all right, so there was the Stitch Quarterly for winter. And I think that's all I have to share with you today. Um, Smokey and I say goodbye now. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Enjoy whatever stitch stitching or crafting time that you do have this time of year. And enjoy the season. It only comes once a year. <laughs> and happy stitching. Bye.